Hello everyone, this is Tech Delivered. Welcome you all to my show of Tech Hood with NG. In this video, we will look how headphones work. We all have the habit of listening to music quite often. And when it comes to hearing music, we opt for headphones. But do we really know how headphones work? Chill out guys, today we are learning it. This is Sennheiser HD 180. I bought it in Amazon last month. Coming to its making, it is made up of plastic and it has a closed back. What a closed back does is it reduces ambient noise from outside. The headphone consists of three main parts. A 3.5 mm jack, stereo wires. In case of mine, it's a bit long and loudspeakers. The stereo wires will be consisting of a pair of wires inside it. This pair of wires are used to transfer current in and out of the headphones. Coming to the inner parts of the headphone, there will be a permanent magnet, a diaphragm and an electromagnet inside it. The permanent magnet is usually made up of iron and the diaphragm is made up of plastic in order to make it move in and out. This diaphragm is connected to the electromagnet. The electromagnet is actually wound over the plastic diaphragm. The electromagnet is also connected to the stereo wires in order to induce magnetism in it. Now the working of headphones. This is really very simple if you know the concept of magnetism. Like poles ripple and unlike poles attract. When we start playing music from an mp3 player or a stereo, it actually sends current pulses inside the electromagnet via the stereo wires. This thing is a solenoid and it gets magnetized when current gets into it. Inside the headphone, the permanent magnet and the electromagnet are placed relatively close to each other. The current from the stereo when entering the electromagnet makes it a magnet and thus it ripples from the permanent magnet. This exerts a resultant magnetic field which makes the diaphragm to go outwards and when the current leaves back to the stereo, this electromagnet and the permanent magnets get attracted and makes the resultant magnetic field zero thus bringing back the diaphragm inwards. After this diaphragm starts to act like a drum. A drum when hit correspondingly produces some vibrations. This vibrations strike up with the air to produce sound. Similarly, the diaphragm starts reacting with the air inside our ear canal to produce sound. These are the operations which are done just in nanoseconds. So what happens when we really change the volume? When we change the volume by a music player or a stereo, we are actually changing the amplitude level of the current entering inside and going out of the headphones. This makes the movement of the diaphragm to vary according to the current level. This may sound simple, but it involves a lot of sound processing inside it and each headphone manufacturer will be having their unique way of manufacturing the headphones with a little bit of sound processing in it. I hope everyone would have learned about how the headphone works. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.